So I keep reading these comments about Lou making all this money. Apparently made 270000 on GTII. Now, you know what's funny? Even if that's true, which it's obviously not, um, Lou claimed he made millions. So even if he did wind up making a couple of hundred thousand, which there's no way, only in his dreams, that that's possible, but Lou would still be caught in a lie because he said he made millions in GTII. He also said he made millions in COSM. But I'm seeing all these comments saying it's confirmed. Lou made a fortune. Lou made a ton of money. How is it confirmed? I, I don't see Lou driving like a, a Rolls Royce Phantom or, or if, if he can't drive because I know he's got problems with the brain, with the blood vessels popping from all the popping, you know, Tyrone and Jamal were doing. I get I get that. So maybe have a driver, right? Where's his driver? Why, why is it a driver? Driving uh, Lou in the back of a Rolls Royce Phantom or or my Bach. Where's Lou's real estate? I don't know. I mean, where's the proof? You know, we're talking about Adam Aaron, right? We're saying we want proof from Adam Aaron that he contacted the New York Stock Exchange and he contacted FINRA, which we we should get proof on that. We should also get proof from Lou. How how is it that Lou is making all this money, but we never see Lou living it up? Never, never. Lou, where's your house? Where's your cars? What do you do with your money, Lou? Is it that you just give it to Tyrone? It's, it's, it's a possibility that maybe he has some sort of an arrangement with Tyrone and Jamal that all of his money goes to them. And then, of course, they repay him with male pleasure. I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to figure it out. If the guy has all this money, what is he doing with it? I mean, it's a very simple thing. People look me up all the time. You'll be able to see he owns real estate online. Right? I mean, to be registered. Where's his real estate? Where's his cars? What does he do with his money? What does he do with his money? Is and it's another thing. We always see Lou in the same room. Like, what is that? Is that like a like a like a hotel? He's always in like I don't know. Is he? I think he's back in Manhattan now, right? So where is he? Like, what what is it? Is it is that is it that he's living in a hotel? I I always see him in that same room. I know he doesn't own this. Is it a rental? Is he renting a, a, I don't know. I just, look, all I can tell you is this. There are things in Manhattan. Just let me give you all a heads up. I used to have an office. And it's like these shared spaces, okay, where it's like, and, and this bo works both in residential and this works in commercial. So let's say, I'll give you two examples. So let's say you want, you know, a prestigious location in Manhattan. Let's say I want to work, you know, whatever it is, Times Square. You could actually get an office in the most prestigious building, the most prestigious location. People don't know this, but it's like a shared floor. So it's a whole floor where it has 20, 30 different companies, and you're just getting a small little space. Why do people do it? Very simple, because they get to, you know, they get to say, I'm working at Times Square. I'm working in the most prestigious location, but you're only paying about 2000 a month for a very small space. They also have similar situations with residential. So a lot of people don't know about this stuff, <laughs> okay? I know about everything because I've been around the block, you understand? So it's possible. Lou is a very, very good conniver, you know? And Lou could just be doing things to portray an image of success. But understand something. Do you want to know the true image of success when you own things? That's the true image of success. Anybody could rent. Anybody could rent. Renting is not the true image of success. Owning is the true image of success. So until I see Lou owns real estate, Lou owns cars, Lou owns assets, he's still Lou the loser. J. Lou, Uncle Festa to me. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only.